August 1, 1914. After the assassination of Prince Franz Ferdinand of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the German Empire declares war on Russia. Because of established alliances, France is preparing for conflict. A few hours after the announcement of the general mobilization, German civilians living in France are asked to leave the country. Karl is one of them. A few days after Carl was deported, the war was hungry for more and took away Emil as well. A heavy-hearted Emil was called up to fight and left the farm for San Miel. Like so many others, he had no idea what fate had in store for him. Pardon, mets ton barre là Et Allez My dear Marie, we are on our way to Paris. The atmosphere here is strangely cheerful. I hope that the harvest goes well. Rely on our neighbors for help. They've always been gracious and charitable people. I'll write again as soon as I get my assignment. Please kiss my little grandson for me. At the train depot in Paris, trying to reach his regiment at Platform 21, Emile would meet the man he would soon fight alongside. The man who would come to be his truest friend. Oh, 
Thank you very much, my friend. I'm Freddy. Where are you from? I'm a USA. Oh. Bye. Good luck, my friend. August 21st, 1914. Emil's regiment was sent to fight against the 71st German Division led by Baron von Dorf. The general cheer of the first hours dissipated into the fear of first combat. Miss Marie Chayon, Private Emile Chayon, from the 150th Infantry Regiment, was wounded by enemy fire on August 21st. He has been captured by the enemy. Hopefully, you shall receive news from him soon. Freddy, originally from America, enlisted voluntarily in the French forces at the start of the war. Behind his bravery hid a man already devastated by the war's effects. A man with one sole obsession. Punish those who had destroyed his life. It was at the Battle of the Marne that Freddy finally picked up the trail of the regiment commanded by Baron von Dorf. Allez, mon gars. 
Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. 